PPG Aerospace is comprised of a unique group of products and services that bring innovation to the surface. PPG Aerospace is divided into several product platforms including sealants, coatings, transparencies, chemical management and packaging. This video is brought to you by Semco Packaging and Application Systems. Semco offers two types of SEM kits, barrier style and injection style, which are used to package and mix two component sealants, adhesives, and other paste materials. The type of kit selected is based on the mix ratio requirements of the material. If mix ratio is less than 10 to 1, then a barrier kit is preferable. If the mix ratio is greater than 10 to 1, then an injection style SEM kit is recommended. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to mix an injection style SEM kit. After determining what type of SEM kit you have, the next step is determining how to mix the material. Semco offers the end user three options to mix a SEM kit, including a 388 mixer, 285 mixer, and the option to mix by hand. In this video, we will be mixing with a 285 mixer. From a quality perspective, the Semco 388 mixer is the preferred method for mixing materials in SEM kits, as this limits the opportunity for issues to arise out of improper mix and reduces strain on the operator. However, mixing SEM kits with a 285 mixer is very common and is helpful if the user needs to be mobile, as the machine can be easily moved. Before beginning to handle the materials, take the necessary personal protection equipment measures such as safety glasses and gloves. First, hold the cartridge firmly and pull back the dasher rod approximately one-third of the way up the cartridge. Next, insert the black ramrod into the dasher rod firmly pushing the piston and allowing the catalyst to flow into the base material. Insert one-third of the catalyst only. Move the dasher rod to the center third of the cartridge and distribute another one-third of the catalyst into the cartridge only. Finally, move the dasher rod to the bottom of the cartridge, releasing the remaining one-third of the catalyst. The even distribution of the catalyst throughout the cartridge will increase the likelihood of a thorough mix, thereby maintaining the expected application properties of the material. Grip the handle of the dasher rod firmly until dasher is engaged in the threaded spindle. If the mixer is equipped with a two-pin drive assembly, then you should engage the holes in the dasher rod with the drive pin assembly. Set the bell timer in accordance with the instructions of the SEM kit bag. While firmly holding the cartridge, move the selector switch to the mix position. Hold the SEM kit cartridge without squeezing and proceed to mix by slowly moving the cartridge up and down along the length of the dasher rod. One stroke is defined as the extension of the cartridge from the top of the dasher rod to the bottom. Finish the mixing process and push the dasher rod into the cartridge and up against the plunger on the last stroke. Move the selector switch to off and remove the dasher rod from the drive pins, assuming the mixer is equipped with drive pins. Grasp the cartridge firmly at the plunger end and detach the dasher rod from the mixing dasher by turning counterclockwise approximately three turns. Remove dasher rod from the cartridge. The mixing process is now complete. Semco has several pneumatic and manual dispensing guns to choose from, as well as standard and specialty nozzles. To maximize your efficiency, select tools tailored for your application. For more information, please visit our website at www.semcopackaging.com or call 1-800-AeroMix.